Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own scrap buster snake that rattles. You're going to need all of your scrap yarn, a six and a half millimeter hook, some eyes if you're using um, or if this is intended for people over three years of age, and some fiber fill. Okay, let's get started. All right, so to get started, what we're gonna be using is the equivalent of four strands of worsted weight yarn. Here I have a bulky. So that I'm going to count as two strands. So here we have three strands, but again, I've got that bulky, which I'm counting as two. The nice thing about this project is that you can mix and match your yarns. So let's go ahead and get it onto our hook. And this part is the trickiest. Just getting started I find is always difficult. So let's chain two and into the first chain single crochet six. Take your time with this. And now for our second, oh, popped out. Try that again. Okay, for our second round, we're going to increase it to nine. So we'll go single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase. We'll do that three times, taking us from six stitches up to nine stitches. So here's my increase. This is stitch two and three, two and three. That's my increase and stitch four is a single and here's my increase again five six and a single stitch seven and now is my last increase this is stitch eight and nine Okay, for the next round, we're going to increase it to 12. So to do that, we'll go single, single, increase. We'll do that three times as well, taking us to 12 stitches. For our next round, let's take it up to 15. So we'll go single, 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 increase three times. And that will take us from 12 stitches to 15 stitches. All right, this is our final increase. We're gonna take it up to 18 stitches. We'll go single, 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 increase three times. So that's four single crochets followed by an increase. We'll do that three times, taking us up to 18 stitches. And just to show you how we're going to change out the yarn. So I'm coming to the end of my orange yarn. So now what I wanna do is add another color. So I'm gonna choose which color? Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna use this sort of peachy color and I'm gonna tie that on. And this is, this is it, this is just how you change out the color. So again, we're wanting to keep four, the equivalent of four strands of worsted weight yarn on here. And when you run out of one, you just simply tie on another one. Again, right now, we're just increasing up to 18 stitches. All right, so now we've got that one. For the next round, we're just gonna single crochet in the round. So we'll put 18 stitches on the next one. Okay. 
Okay, so there we go. For our next stitch, for our next round, we're going to decrease. We're going to go single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease six times, taking us from 18 stitches down to 12. And you can see how the gap at the top there is getting narrow. So that's the head. That's the head of the snake. And what we'll do now is we're just going to build onto our snake, the snake body. So from here up until, you know, just keep going basically till you have two feet. Um, you're just going to crochet in the round. There's 12, 12 stitches on each round. And switch out your yarn uh, when you need to and we'll see you back here. One very important point to remember is that you need to stuff your piece as you go. So you don't want it to get too long before you start to add your stuffing. When you're adding your stuffing, just start with small bits and support the outside and make sure it's firm, but you don't wanna see the stitching, uh, sorry, you don't wanna see the fiber fill between the stitches and you kind of shape as you go. All right, I just wanted to show you that I've got, I'm going for greens, so I've got all my scrap greens out. I'm just gonna tie this on here. But one thing that I'm gonna have to do eventually is change out this bulky. So I can either use two strands of the worsted weight, or I can use another strand of my bulky. And here now I have come to the end, I've got a two foot long snake. And so he's, he's a little bit, might be a little bit shy of two feet, but that's okay. So I've, I'm checking to make sure that he's the right size. We're at, it looks like 20, about 23 inches, 24 inches. By the time he's done, we'll be good. And now we have to put in our rattle. So I have this little plastic container that I've put some old buttons in and it's, the, the lid is very, very tight. So I'm not gonna be worrying about it popping off. I'm gonna shove it in there and I'm gonna add a little bit more stuffing to the end. There we go. And now I'm going to start to taper the end off. And the way that I do that is that it's, it gets a little bit tricky because it gets tight at the end, but I'm just gonna go single, single decrease, single, single decrease until basically until I can't do it anymore. So it's gonna get tricky as we go and I can't forget to add stuffing as we go. You don't wanna have a, an empty tail at the end. But again, I'm just going single, single decrease, single, single decrease.
Okay, this will about do it. I don't think I can do any more, so I'm gonna fasten it off. I'm gonna leave about nine inches, and I just have to find my scissors. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna fasten that off and pull those through. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my yarn onto my um, tapestry needle. And we're going to gather the front loops only of that last round. So we're just gonna close it off. There we go. And I'm gonna tie my knot. All right, and I'm gonna hide the tail and you'll notice that I'm going to leave um, quite a bit of tail in there still. And I'm sort of weaving it back and forth. This is so the tail doesn't work its way, it work its way out. And I'm gonna just chop that off as well. So there we go, now we have our rattly tail, it's ready to go. And finally, our last thing to do is add the face. Now, one thing that um, I need to mention here is if this piece is intended for people under three years of age, you're gonna want to embroider the eyes on, not use buttons. So here I'm gonna just put them on, that's probably at around, I don't know, between maybe round four and five, but you can kind of eyeball it. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. I'm just gonna grab my, um, what are these called? my pliers to pull that through that makes it easier okay so yeah just kind of eyeball it see where you want your face to be and I'll just straighten out that button and I'll put on the next one I'm probably gonna have to use my pliers again There we go, and I'll just pop it through to just slightly over from where I started because what I wanna do now is tie a knot that's not gonna come, um, get be able to get pulled out of the piece. So there we go, make sure those are on nice and snug. And I'm gonna tie my knots, I always do three, I find three holds better for whatever reason. And let's hide these tails. There we go. And snip. And the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some scrap red for the tongue and I'll just Pop that onto my tapestry needle, get some of the stuff out of the way here. And I'm gonna go right to the center, the center of the, the very beginning. Where is it? Where do I wanna, okay, there we go. Yeah, that looks good. So there we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just simply tie knots. So I'm gonna tie about, I don't know, like 15 maybe. It really is gonna depend on the size of the yarn that you're using and you can just, you can kind of go with whatever you think is good for your tongue. And so I'm just tying it on and I'm just making it a little bit longer. I just keep adding knots, keep adding knots. I like them to be, I don't know, maybe an inch, inch and a half long. With this yarn, it's gonna be about 15 um, knots, but again, you just do what you like. All right, I like it. I'm gonna snip it off and now we have a little forked, little forked tongue. So that's how you make your scrap buster rattlesnake. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day, bye.